Hello, and welcome to another episode of Nerds with Badges. Again, I'm continuing to do my daily video promos for my Kickstarter campaign. I'm doing to raise funds for my Dragon Banks comic book. And if you're not familiar with Kickstarter or the crowdfunding aspect of doing business, a lot of people have been using this thing over the years. Um, basically, let's say you're trying to put out an album and you need financial backing. So people will give you money for your for your project. And when they give you money, you give them incentives. So someone gives you a hundred dollar donation, maybe you might give them like a t shirt, maybe I don't know, maybe you have, they can come to a recording session. Depending if they give you two hundred dollars, then maybe they get even more something even, you know, T shirts, you know, maybe they get to have a Zoom meeting, you know, with, with uh, everyone involved in production of the album. You know, so it just depends on uh, how much the donations are. So there's like different tiers. So our goal for this this particular Kickstarter campaign to raise money for my Dragon Manx comic book is $2,000. And so far we've made $1,000. So we have like 25, 25 more days left in the campaign. And um, it's actually really impressive that we've done so well. Um, but you know, uh, still 25 more days and uh you know it's not always easy to get people to to donate money but i do believe that we can we can do that we can make that goal in, in 25 days so i started actually working on my comic book a few years ago actually so i've made a lot of progress originally the concept for this particular story that is being featured in the comic book was a novel that I started writing. And I started on the novel before before uh, COVID actually hit. So it may have been, I think I started writing the novel itself in maybe 2018. And it just dawned on me, you know, maybe it'd be better to try to illustrate this, you know, cause it's such a, the story is just so grand on, it's this very epic story. So what's going on in the story is that there are these psychic kids, these children that have psychic abilities, and someone or something is targeting these children with these psychic abilities. So there's an organization that has teddy bears that protect these children that have psychic abilities. So these teddy bears are like, like magical-ish type characters that can even come into your dreams and help you fight. So this, there's an evil force, the, the force that's targeting the kids, manages to corrupt the teddy bears and turns them against the children. So the organization that has created these teddy bears to help the kids is forced to reach out to some heroes uh, in the, in the uh, motorcycle would choose to go by at this moment in time. This organization re uh, reaches out to some super powered individuals who are working on the side of good. This particular person that they approach, Dragon Manx, the main character featured in my comic book, is a, he's a superhero who just kind of retired from the whole superhero thing because his powers don't really work that well anymore. There's a big thing going on with his powers. He's, the powers, it's, I feel like I'm giving away spoilers, but uh, it's not what he thinks uh, some people think it's maybe because it, maybe he's getting older or something. Maybe that's why his powers are, are, are leaving or something. But the reason his powers are messing up is because they are adapting and they're evolving to a point where he will have to he will have what he needs to fight this great threat. So it's a Dragon Manx's lineage. He's a lineage. He's in a lineage of mystical beings that protect the balance on Earth particularly when it comes to magical uh, things in the magical nature. So eventually an Alpha Mega Guardian, uh, which is what Dragon Manx is, an Alpha, an Alpha Mega Guardian has to sacrifice themselves to protect the, the world. So that's like his destiny. So 
his body, his powers are changing to, to get to the point where he's able to do to fight this great force. So one one unique ability that Dragon Banks has, which is this kind of will be explained over time in the series, is that he can adapt to different situations. His body just kind of like adapts. So he can feel when other people that have supernatural abilities are nearby, and then his body goes through a change. So it's actually quite painful. When uh, so it's one of the reasons why he moved out of Los Angeles to Detroit because there's so many people that have superpowers in, in, in Los Angeles, particularly because of an, of an incident that happened that gave a whole bunch of people superpowers. So, you know, of course, if you're in pain all the time, you're going to go somewhere where you're not in pain. So he moves to Detroit. Detroit has supernatural stuff going on, but it's not on the scale of, of Los Angeles because in Los Angeles, all of a sudden, Hundreds of people suddenly gain superpowers from this. Potentially thousands of people gain superpowers from an, an explosion that happened that bombarded people with this weird extra dimensional, interdimensional energy that just changed their molecular structure. So the problem with that is that a lot of people were using their powers for, for nefarious needs and it, it, it created a problem. So that's one of the reasons why Sons of Legend, the Sons of Legend program was created to recruit people that have powers that want to fight. So if you got people that have powers that are committing crimes, then you're going to need people with powers to, to ah, get my get myself together. You're going to need people with powers to police them. So, I mean, it only makes sense. If you got people with powers, you wouldn't put them in a regular jail either. You put them in a special facility. So obviously if someone has powers and they're committing crimes, you would get someone that has powers to, to counter them. So that's what the Sons of Legend pro program is created for. And Dragon Manx is a part of that of that operation. And all that will be explained because my whole comic series, my whole universe is built around the one day all of my stories will come together in one big epic crossover. So I'm getting to that. I'm, everything is leading up to that point. And it was always something that I wanted to do from the beginning, and I'll, I'll elaborate more on that later because it's it's, it's, it's it's kind of a long story. Uh, so, again, i asking for your support because I really want to launch my universe and get it out there because a the comic book is just a the comic book is just the tip of the iceberg. The Dragon Maze comic book will be that will like a window into something, a, a whole big world. Because eventually there will be like there'll be like live action stuff. There'll be animated uh, things, and I would even like to do video games. So I'm building, I'm building a uh, building. I guess I'm creating my universe. I'm building my universe. I'm, I'm layering the foundation. So you will see that come together from Dragon Manx's point of view as you are introduced. It's kind of like how in the X-Men, Wolverine was, you know, people kind of, in the movie, people kind of, you know, they got it exposed. They got a, they got, a, through Wolverine's eyes, they experienced the X-Men, what they were all about. So this is day five uh, for my videos. And I'll be back again tomorrow with another video to promote my Dragon Manx Kickstarter campaign. Thank you for your time.